why the latest jobless rate is bad news for home buyers. We reveal the stock that almost tripled today. Taylor Swift and other artists suing Twitter over copyright. Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Graffa. Australia's labour market is still running hot, with the unemployment rate falling to 3.6%. This should be good news, right? Well, it depends on whether you have a mortgage. This number could be the justification the Reserve Bank needs to keep interest rates high or raise them even higher. If the labour market is hot, then people ask for higher wages. That fuels inflation and then the RBA needs to come down heavy-handed on rates. It's a vicious cycle. Talk about mixed signals, Australia's yield curve, which is the key warning signal for a recession, is flashing red for the first time since the GFC. We won't go into the details of yield curves, but 9 out of 10 times when a yield curve inverts, it signals a recession. And Australia's richest woman, Gina Reinhardt, is making a play for lithium and other critical minerals north of Kalgoorlie. Shares of Hawthorne Resources shot up more than 30% today, and shares of Legacy Iron Ore also soared after Hancock Prospecting revealed terms of a joint venture earning deal with Hawthorne and Legacy to look for lithium and other critical minerals. Still to come, which stock is being Googled by investors today? and Tay-Tay leading the charge against Twitter for stealing music. Stay tuned. The most Googled stock on the ASX today is Mount Gibson Iron. The iron ore middleweight is ramping up production and said its iron ore shipments this year are going to be higher than it originally expected. <laughs> There's a coalition forming to take on Elon Musk, who owns Twitter. The coalition is made up of publishers of artists like Drake, Taylor Swift and Adele. They are seeking $368 million in damages for breaching copyright. In response to questions about the lawsuit, Twitter's press department sent an auto-reply of the poo emoji, when negotiations turn to, well, the proverbial. And finally, there's one sentence that strikes joy into the hearts of investors. High-grade lithium find. Greentech Metals confirmed the find at its project in the West Pilbara region. And the announcement set off all of Graffa's data triggers. Shares surged more than 200%. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com or download our app from the App Store. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewen, see you next time.